Hello students, welcome back to our channel Foodtech Online. So today will be our third class on most important questions of food technology subjects. So all those aspirants who are preparing for the gate examination, so they must watch this video till end. So without wasting much time, now let us proceed. Okay, start करने से पहले आप सभी वीडियो पॉज कीजिए खुद ट्राई कीजिए क्वेश्चन सॉल्व करने का एंड एट दी एंड टू कमेंट डाउन योर स्कोर्स आउट ऑफ ट्वेंटी सो क्वेश्चन नंबर वन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग माइक्रोब इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ ब्लू चीज ऑप्शन ए स्ट्रेप्टोकॉकस थर्मोफिलस ऑप्शन बी लैक्टोबेसिडस बल्गैरिकस ऑप्शन सी पेनिसिलियम रुकी फोर्टी एंड ऑप्शन डी राइजोपस टोलॉलीफर सो द माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म विच इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ ब्लू चीज it is uh, penicillium rocifolium even it provides a characteristic uh, flavor and the texture to the blue cheese next question number 2 bacterial cell grown on hydrocarbon uh, waste from the petroleum industry are a source of option a carbohydrates option b proteins option c vitamins and option d fats so the bacterial cells which are grown on the hydrocarbons uh, on industrial wastes or the by products so these are the source of proteins option number b question number 3 yeast cell crops harvested from the vats are used to produce which of the following compounds so option number a alcoholic beverages option number b enzymes c antibiotics and d organic acids so the yeast cell crops which are harvested from the vats they are used to produce the alcoholic beverages that is option number a actually yeast it is a single cell microorganisms that can ferment the sugar to produce this uh, alcohols carbon dioxides so next what is the range of protein content in yeast cell option a 69% b 12 to 15% c 20 to 40% and d 40 to 50%. So the range of protein in the yeast cell is around 40 to 50%. That is option number D. Number five. For which of the following microorganisms have high vitamin content? Option A, bacteria. Option B, yeast. Option C, algae. Option D, protozoa. So the following microorganisms which have a high vitamin content is yeast. That is option number B. Question number six. The principal microorganisms for yogurt is option number A, Streptococcus thermophilus. Option number B, Leuconostox citrovorum. Option number C, Lactobacillus acidophilus. Option number D, Streptococcus lactis. So the principal microorganisms which is uh, used in the production of yogurt is uh, Streptococcus thermophilus. That is option number A. Uh, even uh, Streptococcus thermophilus, ye ek microorganisms, even two microorganisms are responsible. That the one more is Lactobacillus bulgaricus. Yahan pe option nahi diya hai, but for your information, you can note it down. Even ye jo bacteria hai, they are added to milk and then the milk they, it will ferment and it will produce a lactic acid and which will cause the milk to coagulate and form a thick tangy yogurt. So here the correct option is option number A. Question number seven: Which of the following products have higher acidity and lacks aroma? Option A: Cultured buttermilk. Option B: Cultured sour cream. Option C: Bulgarian milk and option D: Acidophilus milk. So the product which have higher acidity and lacks aroma is option number B, that is cultured milk. So cultured milk actually it is made by fermenting the cream with lactic acid bacteria. So the product it produces is lactic acid and even it lo lowers down the pH of the milk. Whereas this cultured butter milk, uh, it is a fermented dairy product which have a tangy flavor or aroma. And uh, number C that is Bulgarian milk. Bulgarian milk it is a type of yogurt which is known for its creamy texture and even it also has a mild flavor. And option number D that is acidophilus milk. It actually it is a pro Probiotic and it is known for its health benefits. Even it also has a mild flavor, aroma. Question number eight, that is shredded cabbage, is the starting product for which of the following fermented food? Option A, sauerkraut. Option B, pickles. Option C, green olives. And option D, sausages. So the correct option is option number A, that is sauerkraut. Actually, shredded cabbages they are fermented, and this and this fermented product it is known as sauerkraut. Question number nine. Most spoilage bacteria grow at option A, acidic pH; option B, alkaline pH; option C, neutral pH; and option D, any of the pH. So most spoilage bacteria they grow at 
option number C that is neutral pH. So it ranges from actually of uh, pH 5 to pH 8. Question number 10. Suspected colonies of Staphylococcus aureus when grown on bed park or medium shall show. Option A. Coagulase activity. Option B. Protease activity. Option C. Uh, catalase activity and option D. None of these. So the suspected colonies of Staphylococcus aureus when it is grown on the Baird Parker med medium it is it actually shows coagulase activity that is option number A. So this Baird Parker medium uh, agar it is actually a selective as well as a differential medium which is used for the isolation as well as the enumeration of coagulase, uh, coagulase positive Staphylococcus uh, in the foot. So my correct option is option number A. Question number 11. Which of the following acid will have a higher bacteriostatic effect at a given pH? Option A. Acetic acid. Option B. Tartaric acid. Option C. Citric acid and option D. Malic acid. So the bacteriostatic effect, it actually depends uh, of an acid, actually depends on the two factors. One on the concentration and another on the pH of the environment so however uh, the acetic acid it has a higher bacteriostatic effect than other of the following acids which are given so acetic uh, so my correct answer is option number a that is acetic acid So this acetic acid actually it is a weak organic acid that is commonly used as a food preservative due to its antimicrobial properties. Even it is effective against a wide range of uh, gram positive as well as gram negative bacteria. and this tartaric acid, citric acid, malic acid these are also used in food industries but they are not as effective as the acetic acid. So here the correct option will be option number A that is acetic acid. So question number 12, which of the following is not true for the thermal resistance of the bacterial cell? Option A, cocci are usually more resistant than rods. Option B, higher the optimal and maximal temperatures for growth, higher the resistance. Option C, bacteria that clump considerably to form capsules are difficult to kill. And number D, cells low in lipid content are harder to kill than other cells. So the correct option is option number D that is cells low in lipid contents are harder to kill than other cells. In fact in this the cells which are high in lipid contents such as uh, these pores so they are more resistant to heat than the cells which are low in lipid content. So here the, uh, the statement which is not true is number D that is cells low in lipid content are harder to kill than other cells. Question number 13, vector activity can act as option number A, an intrinsic factor determining the likelihood of microbial proliferation, option number B, a processing factor, option C, an extrinsic factor, and option number D, uh, all of the options. So the correct answer is option number D, all of the above. So what does actually water activity mean? Water activity, it is a measure of amount of free water available in the food or other substances. It is actually a ratio of um, water vapor present in the food substance, food substance uh, to that of the pure water at a uh, given temperature, means same temperature and pressure. So this term is important at same temperature and pressure. So the correct option is option number D, all of the above. So question number third, 14, enumeration of microorganisms refers to option A, either spiral plating, pore plating or spread plate of a foot suspension onto a suitable selective agar or non-selective -select plate depends on the test. Option B, either spiral plating, pore plate or spread plate of a foot suspension onto a suitable selective agar. Option C is non-selective plating depending on the test. Option D, none of the options. So actually enumeration of microorganism, it refers to either sp spiral plating, pore plate or spread plate of a food sub suspensions onto a suitable selective agar or non-selective agar depending on the tests. So the correct option is option number A. Question number 15. The different aerobic colony counts between food categories reflect the Option A, expected level of contamination of the raw material. Option B, potential for microbial growth during storage. Option C, micro, uh, potential shelf life. And D, all of the above.
So the correct answer is D, all of the above. So this uh, different aerobic colony count, it depends on various conditions. Uh, even other conditions can be the type of food, processing of the processing of the food, its storage conditions. So uh, all of the above is the correct answer. Question number 16. Examination of the presence or absence of the microorganisms refers to option number A. Incubation of food suspension in an enrichment medium followed by incubation onto a suitable selective medium. B. Incubation of food suspension in an enrichment medium followed by incubation onto a non-selective medium. Option C. Enrichment of food suspension in an enrichment medium. Incubation of food suspension in an enrichment medium and option number D, none of the options. So the correct answer is option number A, that it is incubated, the food suspension in an enrichment medium and then it is followed by incubation onto a suitable selective medium. Question number 17. Question number 17. Plate count of bacteria in foods generally use the plating medium consisting of option A, Peptone, yeast extract, glucose, sodium chloride, agar and distilled water. Number B, yeast extract, glucose, sodium chloride, agar and distilled water. Peptone, glucose, sodium chloride, agar and distilled water. D, peptone, yeast extract, glucose, sodium chloride, agar and distilled water. So the correct option is option number A that it will contain of petro peptone, yeast extract, glucose, sodium chloride, agar and distilled water. So this peptone and yeast extract, it is responsible for providing the nitrogen and other nutrients which will support the growth of the bacteria whereas glucose it will provide the source of energy to the bacteria while uh, sodium chloride it will help to maintain the osmotic balance of the medium and agar it will, uh, it will act as uh, a solidifying agent as well as uh, it will provide a surface for the bacteria to grow. And distilled water, it is used for the adjustment of the medium and pH to adjust the pH. So option number A. Next question number 18. What are the intrinsic factors for the microbial growth? Option A, pH. Option B, moisture. Option C, oxidation reduction potential. And option D, all of these. So the correct answer is option number D, all of these. So the pH of a food product, it can affect the growth of the microorganisms by altering the acidity of the environment. Whereas moisture content can also affect microbial growth by providing suitable environmental conditions for the microorganisms to grow uh, or uh, for the, its reproduction and oxidation and reduction potential. So actually oxidation and reduction potential, it is a measure or the tendency of the substance to gain or lose the electrons uh, that can affect the microbial growth by uh, altering the availability of the oxygen or the environment. So here the correct answer is option number D, all of these. Next, number 19, yeast and mold count determination requires option number A, agar, nutrient agar, option number B, acidifying potato, glucose agar, option C, McConkey agar option d violet red bile agar so the correct option is option number b that is acidified potato glucose agar so the plating media which is used for the yeast or mold count it is used for the determination of acidified potato glucose agar so this medium is actually a selective for fungi and it is used for the determination of the yeast and mold colonies uh, which are present in the food sample. So here the correct answer is option number. Question number 20, the time temperature combination for HTST pasteurization. So what does HTST uh, stands for? HTST stands for high temperature short time pasteurization uh, of 71.1 degrees Celsius for 15 seconds is selected on the basis of option number A, Coxilla burnetii, B, E. coli, C, sub Bacillus subtilis and C, D, uh, Clostridium botulinum. So here the correct option will be option number A that it is uh, Coxilla burnetii. Question number 21. Aerobic colony count is also known as option A total viable count TBC, TBC. option number B aerobic count aerobic plate count APC option C standard plate count SPSC and D 
all of these so aerobic colony count it is also known as tvc apc and spc all of these is the correct answer question number 22 which of the following is true about iso 2002 method for salmonella detection option a selenite cysteine sc broth is replaced by muller kaufmann tetrathionate novobiosin broth that is kmttn b Rapaport vasiliadis vasiliadis rv broth has been replaced by Rapaport vasiliadis soya rvs broth option c xld is the first isolation medium rather than bga option d all of these so the correct option for this will be option number d all of this question number 23 a sacrophilic halophile would be a microbe that prefers option a cold temperature and increased amount of salt b warm temperature and increased amount of pressure c cold temperature and the absence of oxygen warm temperature and increased amount of acids so actually sacrophile sacro means what cold and philic means loving that is cold loving and halophile halo means salt concentration and fine means loving so the microorganisms which loves or prefers to be in a cold temperature as well as in a higher salt concentration environment so here the correct option will be option number a that is cold temperature and increased amount of salt question number 24 NaCl can act as option A antagonist at optimum concentration option B synergistically if added in excess of optimum level C both A and B and D none of the above so here the correct option will be option number C that is both A and B so the effect of NaCl on the microbial growth it will depend on the concentration and the type of microorganisms say at low concentration NaCl it can act as a growth stimulant for microorganisms while at higher concentration it can act as a growth inhibitor so the optimum concentration of NaCl for microbial growth it varies depending on the type of microorganisms and the food products so in some cases antagonist the, the NaCl can act as an antagonist by inhibiting the growth of certain microbial or microbial or the microbes at optimum concentration or in other cases it can act that NaCl can act as synergistically while uh, other factors to promote the growth of the microorganisms such in case of the halophilic bacteria that requires a high salt concentration for the for its better growth so here option number c is correct question number 25 the microbial examination of coliform bacteria in food preferably preferably use option a mcconkey broth option b violet red bile agar option c using methylene blue agar and option number d all of these so the correct so do comment down this uh, correct option for this and also comment down your score out of 25 which you have secured so thank you everyone you can subscribe our youtube channel and other social media links it is given in the description box so till then enjoy learning thank you